some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we found ourselves somewhere in the state of Minnesota at a traffic stop where a Karen, who apparently has been influenced by some YouTube lawyers, is trying to argue her way out of a traffic citation because she has inadequate headlights, which apparently she installed herself. But she demands to see the light bulbs themselves, and when she does, we find out that the light bulb in her head isn't the only thing that's dim. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay. You don't have any headlights on right now? That's Do you mind if I get out of the car and check? Okay, so the officer straight up asked her if she had any headlights on. Keep that in mind for later in the video. Because if she does have them on, there might be an issue with it, uh, just saying. Uh, I have to make sure it's a legitimate stop. All of you stay put, you can check. You can I'm check not a threat. Done, okay? I need to make sure I was, before I answer any questions or give you any information, I've done this before. Okay. Several I times. Your, I need your driver's license. You know. And that will be before you get out and check, okay? What do you want to do, hold my hand? No, not at all. I'm getting out of the car. Let's not be ridiculous. Yeah, I have to make sure that you legally stop me before I do anything. So, Everyone. call your supervisor, figure it out. I want to speak to your... Oh, Karen, you're not going to need a supervisor for this one because this one will become blatantly obvious. But of course, you're such a dim bulb anyway, I doubt that anybody would be able to see you more than 10 feet away. And then the we'll do this. Board. Okay, well, you need to call your superior here. Okay. I need your driver's license. And I need to make sure that I was legally stopped because I just put lights on the front of the vehicle. As long as there's lights on there, it's illegal. Um, pardon me a minute, ma'am, but it's not that simple. In fact, there are statutes around the brightness of your bulbs. According to Minnesota Statute 16960, there shall be a lowermost distribution of light or composite beam so aimed and of sufficient intensity to reveal persons and vehicles at a distance of at least 100 feet ahead and on a straight level road under any condition of loading none of the high intensity portion of the beam shall be directed to strike the eyes of an approaching driver. I doubt this did anything to brighten her dim bulbs, but let's continue on with the video. There's no white light to the front. That's what I'm telling you. you I just the put them in there. What I'm do you mean? I'm gonna sit and argue with you. I know, so I need to check. Okay, you can check once I'm done here, okay? Do I need to remind you? Like, and I don't mean issues. to be rude or mean, but my tax dollars pay your salary. Therefore, and that's completely fine. And you know what? I've been. License. You're not getting my driver's license until I can verify that you legitimately stopped me. Okay. So call it who you need to then. Once I get your driver's license, and if you feel that this stop was out of bounds with how you feel, I can. I do need it. to. I, I'm leaving the thing recording. I'm telling you, all I want to do is get out and verify. Obviously, there's not an issue. You got a camera, I got a camera. Yeah. Let me verify that it was a legitimate stop before I answer any more questions. Okay. Can I get your driver's license and then I'll let you get out of the vehicle? Okay. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? What, what? You have to you have to have a legitimate reason. And oh, but he does have a valid reason for pulling you over, and soon it shall be revealed how dim your bulb truly is. No and you time. followed me from the moment that you see me pull into Home Depot. I, I wasn't you know what? Before. Yeah. Driver's well, license and insurance, you know what? I can give you the driver's license insurance after I verify that you've made a legitimate stop. Because you have to have a reason to believe that I've committed a crime or have whatever. I'm not sure your name. I would be willing to show you that once I get your identification. Okay. But that's not how... That's how it works. And I don't even have to let you get out of the vehicle. But I'm willing to work with you. So if you give me your driver's well, license... what do you want to do? Listen, no. uh, you know what? All I, I have a fucking car full of groceries. And I'm trying to get back to my kids. Yeah. And you know what? 
I've had enough of you men sitting here fucking with me, okay? I'm going through cancer treatments and enough and I'm tired of being harassed. And, I'm not trying and to you know what? You, or anything like that. you know what? The last time, the last time I was pulled over, the officer said, yeah, get out. Go ahead and check. And you know what? Then things went smoothly after that. Wow, Karen, talk about being a manipulative. You're going from one end of the emotional spectrum to the other. Starting off with sexism and then going into cancer. And who knows what else you're going to get into. This is just fascinating. Can I get your driver's Be license and you can hop out and check with me? I'm, I'm willing to show you what How about this? You want to hold on to my phone? No. I don't what do you want? My purse? I just want your driver's I can give you my purse. You just don't dig in it. I, I don't want your purse. I just want your identification. Dude. And then I'll check. I need to make sure. Yeah, okay. But well, what's the problem with us both getting out and doing it? Because I want your identification first. That's do you want me to get so out barefooted or something? Like, no. so I don't run away? There's no safety issues, obviously. I know who I'm dealing with prior to laying the I'm, Okay. And typically, I don't even let people get out of the vehicle until mm -hmm. I'm done with the traffic stop. But I'm willing to check it with you, okay? I'll let you do that if you give me your driver's license. But you don't have a problem. I don't know that you have probable cause, so why would I identify who I am if I don't think that I've broken any rules because I was just outside of the vehicle? Okay. Pop out and you can check. Okay. Thank you. And, you know, if I'm wrong, then I apologize, but. That is legal, okay? I... I'm telling you, that's Listen, not legal. listen, let me tell you something. You want me to pop my hood? Nope, I want you this to This is legal. Okay. Yeah, Karen, the lights are on, but apparently nobody's home in your head, nor is there anything going on with these lights, because look at the way they're lighting up the road, as in they're not even revealing anything in front of them. The lights have to reveal anything, person, or vehicle that are at least 100 feet ahead of them. And the light bulb doesn't even illuminate the bumper of the car. That is ridiculous. Look, Karen, I'm sure you installed those lights yourself, but just because they fit in there doesn't mean they're the proper ones. Did you walk in the auto parts store and look in the manual that is in a every parts store to see if they were the proper ones? I mean, come on now. You did not have a legitimate reason to stop me. Please don't touch me. Listen, I have fibromyalgia. Oh no, here we go again. I have a nurse that takes care of me. And my people's blood and stress and pressure. And I don't need you fucking with me and digging with me because this is absolutely legal. So call a supervisor, do whatever you have to do. You know what? You didn't legally stop me, so can you please? Now you're staying out here. You know what? I have kids and you are hurting me. All I want. Why did you stop me? Because it wasn't for my lights. Because you don't have headlights. I have you are, lights. You are more than able I to have head home lights. once it's I have lights. It's legal. You, I'm going to give you a warning. I'm going to give you a warning. I just need to know who you are before I let you go. And you can get back to your kids. I know you're going through a tough time. But this is what you needs to happen. Haven't you haven't legally an, stopped If you have me. an issue with it, you can file a complaint tomorrow. Okay. This is not a legal stop. Okay. I'm, Period. I'm There's done. lights on the front of the car. Those are not. I got a headlamp. I can put another one in there. They're LED. It doesn't matter. You know what I can do? I can freaking pull some fucking um, wire out of the fucking trunk and run the wire straight to the fucking headlights. It's the same fucking thing. Okay. All I'm asking is for your driver's license. And if you have an issue, you can okay. file a complaint. Okay, so you understand that you have to have a legitimate yep, I, reason I completely to agree stop with you me yep. and suspect that I am in violation of a law in order to do that. Yeah, traffic events, and you are. No, I'm and, not. There's and, lights there. It's clearly that there's lights there. And all I'm looking for is your driver's license.
Well, that's the end of the video, folks. I mean, clearly she did not install the proper headlights on her car. I mean, even with the uh, headlights from the officer's car, you can still see a shadow in front of her car, which should not happen if she installed the proper headlights the entire area would be illuminated. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.